There are thousands of different ways that you can optimize your training, but only two things in this world completely break the normal rules of muscle growth. Steroids, which are illegal, have nasty side effects, and damage multiple organ systems. And blood flow restriction training, which has no negative side effects and actually benefits multiple other body systems. There's a reason why nearly all pro sports teams now have their athletes use BFR. In this video, I'll answer all your questions about this game-changing tech, drawing from dozens of peer-reviewed studies, and show you exactly how to best use BFR to completely transform your training. Let's get to it. First, there are two main BFR options. Professional-grade inflatable cuffs that allow you to dial in precise, personalized occlusion pressures, and if those aren't in your budget, there are cheap nylon straps, which can work in a pinch, but aren't nearly as effective, especially for larger muscles, and you'll soon see why. The purpose of BFR is to partially restrict blood flow while you train. And if you do it right, the benefits are wild. For one, you can use super lightweight and fewer sets, but trigger growth that's equal or greater than high load, high volume training. You can think of it as tricking your muscles into behaving as if you had trained way heavier, harder, and longer than you really did. And that opens up a ton of possibilities. The most obvious are that it almost completely eliminates injury risk, saving your joints, and it drastically accelerates rehab, which is why surgeons and PTs now prescribe it. But the benefits go far beyond injury prevention and recovery. For example, isolation exercises that are impossible to really train heavy, like supinated tricep extensions, lower bicep curls, hip abductions, or lateral raises, can now get high load growth with BFR. It also significantly increases fast twitch fiber recruitment, making you more explosive. If you're traveling or don't have access to equipment, you can get high load growth or better using just body weight. You can even add pro-grade BFR to cardio and trigger maximum growth on top of the aerobic benefits simultaneously. In fact, BFR also doubles muscular endurance in just four weeks by enhancing muscle oxygen capacity. Studies show that even just walking in high-pressure cuffs can match the muscle growth of weightlifting. One of my personal favorite uses, you can combine BFR with an e-stim unit to build muscle while literally doing nothing. And you can choose between targeting whole muscle groups or highly specific regions. This combo is how I can train while sitting in a car or airplane, for example, pairing BFR with this wireless ProTouch device, which I'll give more detail on towards the end of this video. What's more, BFR-induced growth is slower to atrophy, making your gains last longer. And it can even prevent atrophy in completely immobilized limbs. And by the way, if you're using pro-grade cuffs, it does all this not only for the muscles below the cuff, but also those above, like the shoulders, chest, back, glutes, and core. And in something called the cross-education effect, the same muscles on the opposite side of the body also get a portion of the BFR benefits, even if they weren't directly trained. BFR also boosts your VO2 max far more than normal training. A single BFR workout can spike testosterone over 600% and growth hormone up to 29,000%. It also makes stem cells turn into muscle, activates heat shock proteins, increases expression of hypertrophy genes, and enhances bone strength and structure. And FYI, you can find links to all of these studies in the video description. So with all these mind-blowing benefits, you can see why I spent the last three years developing accessible pro-grade BFR cuffs. And I'll go over how they're significantly different from everything else out there towards the end of this video. Next up, how does BFR work? How exactly does it achieve all of these incredible effects? First, it triggers massive metabolic and oxidative stress with blood pooling on both sides of the cuff with oxygen deprivation below and oxygen overload above. Both scenarios trigger anabolic hormone cascades, local growth factor release, increased motor unit firing and fast twitch recruitment, and boosts mTOR signaling and muscle protein synthesis. It also forces more blood into the muscle cells themselves, creating a massive pump. Trust me, you'll feel it and more pump means more growth. And there's undoubtedly other mechanisms going on as well that we just don't know about yet. 
All right, now let's get into the practical nitty gritty details of how to best use BFR and address all the common questions related to pressure, safety, timing, rest breaks, etc. First is placement. The muscles after the cuff typically get the greatest benefit. So you usually want to place it as high on your leg as you can, and on the arm, it should fit nicely between the deltoids and biceps. However, and this is important, studies show that the muscle directly underneath the cuff gets little to no benefit from the BFR. So it's good to change up the exact placement on the leg every once in a while. And most importantly, on the arm, you do not want the cuff to be too wide. Most arm cuffs out there cover most of the biceps and triceps, completely defeating the purpose of using BFR for those muscles. It also severely restricts your range of motion, which is why I made my arm cuffs as thin as possible while still retaining full pressure capacity. Which brings us to the all-important question of how tight they should be. I'll briefly explain the science and then give you a shortcut. The amount of pressure it takes to completely cut off blood flow is called arterial occlusion pressure, or AOP, and it's roughly 10% more than your systolic blood pressure, or the top number. Now, with BFR, we want to partially restrict blood flow, so you'll use up to 90% of your AOP. The exact ideal percentage to use depends on the weight load. The higher the pressure, the less weight you can use and still trigger all of the benefits we discussed. So here's the shortcut I came up with. You want your weight load percentage and your cuff pressure percentage to always equal 100. That could be 10% of your one rep max with 90% pressure or 50% weight with 50% pressure, etc. For example, let's say your max squat is 225 pounds and your blood pressure is 120 over 80 which would make your AOP 132. Now let's say you wanted to be able to get maximum growth using just the bar. A 45 pound bar would be 20% of your one rep max. 20% weight calls for 80% AOP, so you'd inflate your cuffs to about 105 and boom. The lightweight will save your joints, allow you to focus on perfect form, and one or two sets to failure will trigger equal or greater growth than three or four super heavy sets. Note that the higher the pressure, the less volume you need to achieve maximum growth, and the greater the metabolic and hormone response is. However, you don't want to go above 90% pressure. Most of the research uses between 40 and 80% AOP. So now you see why there's a huge difference between having pro-grade cuffs with an accurate pressure gauge versus a nylon band where you have no idea what the pressure actually is. Now for some more frequently asked questions. Do the percentages need to be exact? No, but you want to be as close as you can. And the pressure percentages are more important than the weight load percentages. If you don't know your one rep max, just guess and err on the side of being a little too heavy. Can I use BFR with heavy weight? Yes, there's no danger in that, but the heavier the load, the less benefit BFR will add. Some studies suggest that if you're training with over 70% of your one rep max, the added growth benefits from BFR are no longer statistically significant. If I'm using nylon bands, how do I know if it's too tight? First of all, your limb turning red at higher pressures is normal. That's a sign it's working. Even slight tingling is normal and your muscles will ache. However, if you're turning purple or numb, or feel any sharp pain, then you're probably using too much pressure. And that brings us to the big one. Is it safe? Yes. For relatively healthy people using it correctly, not a single negative effect has been found. Despite appearances, it does not mess up your veins. In fact, BFR has been shown to improve vein health, decrease arterial stiffness, enhance peripheral blood circulation, lower baseline blood pressure, and improve cardiovascular, endocrine, and bone health. With that said, since BFR does increase blood pressure during the exercise and is relatively new, anyone with these pre-existing conditions should avoid BFR or consult with their physician first just to be safe. And finally, it's not recommended even for healthy individuals to use both arm and both leg cuffs at the same time. Only use a maximum of two cuffs at a time. Should you take BFR cuffs off between sets or leave them on? The answer is, it doesn't really matter. 
Studies show there's not a significant drop in gains if you do take them off or depressurize during short rests. But from a practical standpoint, it can be a hassle to take them on and off that frequently, and there's no danger to leaving them on. So I'll typically leave them on during rest breaks. Interestingly, other studies have shown that you can get some small amount of benefit by only putting on BFR cuffs during the rest breaks and not during the exercises themselves. So that would imply that there is some benefit to leaving them on during those rest breaks. Do you need to leave them on for any length of time after your workout's finished? No, you can take them off as soon as your workout is finished. Although again, interestingly, some studies have shown some small amount of benefit by only putting on BFR cuffs after the workout is finished and not during it. So take that for what it's worth. How many sets and reps should you do? Since BFR triggers adaptations at much lower volumes, just one or two sets to failure per exercise is sufficient. But there's nothing wrong or dangerous with doing more. Typically, those sets are in the high rep range, but you fatigue much faster with BFR, so you'll hit failure much earlier than you normally would with those light weight loads. How long should each session last? Again, BFR gives you results at much lower volumes, so your workout should end up being shorter than an equivalent workout without BFR. The workouts in my BFR series programs are all under 30 minutes. No adverse effects have been seen with longer workouts, but I personally wouldn't leave them on for longer than one hour at a time. Even that is really overkill. How often can you do BFR each week? That depends on what splits you're doing. If you're working a different muscle group every day, you could use BFR every day. But a good rule of thumb I use with my clients and in my programs is that you should only work the same muscle group with BFR up to twice a week with at least two rest days in between. Now, it's important to note that all of those answers also depend on how effective the BFR products themselves are that you're using. So let me tell you how the products I designed are different from everything else out there, starting with the BFR Pro 2.0s. I decided to make these because I saw that all of the inflatable cuffs on the market had severe flaws. First, as we've discussed, the arm cuffs are all way too wide. A fatal flaw that makes the biceps and triceps untrainable and severely limits range of motion for all upper body training. It took me lots of trial and error, but I finally found the thinnest width possible that still allows for sufficient occlusion pressure. Every millimeter matters, and the result is about 40% thinner than any other arm cuffs out there, fitting nicely in the deltoid bicep gap, enabling effective arm training and full, unrestricted range of motion. Next, the others all use this super hard, stiff material that digs into your skin and muscles, making them super uncomfortable and even painful to use. So I took on the extra cost of using premium, ultra soft material with a double layer to ensure durability. Not only are they far more comfortable, but having more flexible material that molds to the contours of your body creates more even occlusion pressure around the limb. Which brings me to the fact that my cuffs provide full 360 degree pressure, unlike other designs that leave fatal gaps which create inconsistent occlusion. And I added horizontal flaps to make them easy to secure. And unlike the cheap copycats out there, my cuffs actually retain pressure throughout your workout. And I give an industry best 12 month warranty on that. And I personally provide all the customer service for my BFR pros. And I happen to be a native English speaker with full decision making power. You also get detailed instructional videos. And to top it off, I'm currently offering the first four workouts of my BFR series total body program free for life and a free month of my all access premium membership with every purchase so that you can learn how to effectively integrate these cuffs into your training routines. The reviews speak for themselves. Now, if you can't afford the professional grade cuffs, I also designed these nylon based armbands, which also took over a dozen prototypes. Again, I used much softer and more comfortable material with the thinnest effective width, but the biggest differentiator with these is that instead of the cheap plastic buckles that other bands use, which are hard to put on, harder to adjust, and slip under high pressures, mine have a heavy duty metal buckle with a spring loaded lever that is easy to put on, easier to adjust, and never slips. 
You'll find more details on each along with links to buy them in the video description. Now, I promised I'd tell you more about this wireless EMS system from Hydao, which when combined with BFR can literally build muscle while you do nothing. I bought mine over two years ago and have used it almost daily since. So I'm pumped to finally be partnering with them and to be able to get you up to 50% off. If you've used the wired EMS units at physical therapy before, I don't have to tell you how big of a difference having a true wireless system makes. I can place patches under my clothes and go about my day completely unrestricted. Hideout offers three wireless options. The Spot, which acts as its own receiver, the Wireless 4.9, which can power four receivers at a time, and the ProTouch can power six different receivers with 12 different modes simultaneously. So for example, I can hit my lower back, a shoulder, a knee, and my feet all at once, while my wife also runs both legs, all with different modes and intensities controlled by a single user-friendly remote. Hydao also has an amazing range of attachments. There's a variety of gel pads, with the passive ab builder one of my favorites, and even a heated electrode pad, joint wraps, foot pads, and Accu socks and gloves for total foot, ankle, hand, and wrist therapy and more powerful recovery tools like their unique dual massage gun and these compression wraps, which were game changers for my restless leg syndrome. I've worked with Hideout to create several different bundle options for you, which you get a massive 50% discount on with my link and code in the video description, along with 40% off all other products. Trust me, it's worth the investment. If you have any BFR questions I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments section. Mahalo for watching, my friends. Until next time.